hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome before I get started if you're new and you haven't already please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos because I'm starting to introduce all of my new animals starting with this big boy right here this is my new Dumeril's boa and I've had a very hard time keeping him a secret from all of you I can't tell you how many times I've gone to post a picture of him on Instagram and I'm like, nope, I need to wait until I introduce him. A lot of you know that I've been doing education programs now through my work and quite frankly, I, I have colubrids and I have baby snakes, so I don't really have an impressive or didn't have an impressive snake to bring to an education program. So I've been keeping my eye out for a boa, wanted a nice big snake and in the process, someone in Vermont contacted me saying that they had a Dumeril Spoa. Now that was a three hour drive, so I ended up turning it down and I regretted it immediately and that person never got back to me again. So I said that was what I wanted. I didn't want a red tail anymore. I wanted a Dumeril Spoa. Even if it meant waiting and eventually paying five to $600 for one, I was gonna get a Dumeril Spoa. So if you've been here, you may remember this video where I drove literally eight hours in one day to go and get Zero my Milk Snake and Penelope my Hognose. Well, while I was just kind of looking in the area at snakes, I did a Google search for snake breeders in the area. And I came across one I've never heard of. I hadn't seen them at expos before. Um, but you know, I looked at the site and looked to see what adults he had. And he had one adult snake listed for sale on his site. And that was this Dumeril Spoa. And the price on this Dumeril Spoa, oh my God, this broke college grad could afford that, no problemo. So I contacted him and I was like, this site, there's no way this guy's been listed on here. No one has snagged him. This site hasn't been updated. So I emailed him and sure enough, he still had him. And as you can see, this guy's very sweet. Dumeril boas have a great temperament, great disposition, super sweet snakes. The only thing that's kind of a concern with them besides their size is that they can have a very strong feeding response. So a lot of people will hook train them. This guy is the sweetest snake ever. He legitimately has no feeding response at all. I've been for the first time two weeks ago now, and he literally, I, I ended up just leaving the rat in there, and he eventually just kind of started nomming on it. No feeding response. So I am still hook training him just in case attitude changes down the road, but legitimately I could get away with not hook training him at all, because he's such a sweet snake. So back to what I was saying. Um, he was down where I got Zero and Penelope from. I didn't get him when I went and got them, which is why he wasn't in that video. The guy that had him had to work that day and wasn't able to meet me. But because I told him that I wanted him for educational purposes, he said he wanted me to have the snake. He wanted it to be used for education. He'd make a great education animal. So he said he would hold on to the snake for me as long as he had to until we could meet up no deposit needed. So I was thrilled, that was so amazing. So I think he held on to him for about a month for me. When I went to the Saratoga Expo, that was when we met up and got him. I did briefly talk about that in that video. Um, I didn't tell you what he was, I just said that, you know, I did leave with two animals, one of which had been mine for a while technically, that was this guy. So I didn't exactly realize that he didn't breed him, um, he does breed Dumeril boas and he has other Dumeril boas, clearly because he breeds them. But I thought this was one that he had bred or like had hatched or not hatched, but whatever. You know what I mean? This was one of his babies. Um, come to find out it wasn't. He actually got this guy in 2017. So I guess it was technically like a rehoming situation, not really like selling him to me. It was more like rehoming him to me. So, I mean, that's cool, because you guys know that I love rehoming, rescuing, and adopting. 
but he estimates his birthday to be about April or May of 2017. So that would make him officially two years old now. Um, he's about four feet long and before I got him, the guy weighed him and said that he was 1,750 grams. So being that he's only two years old and he's about four feet long, I'm guessing he's probably gonna max out at about five or six feet, which is about average for a male Dumeril's boa. Females can definitely get much bigger, um, easily eight feet. I've seen a lot of people in Facebook groups have females that are even nine to 11 feet. So very grateful that I have a male. So for those of you that don't really know much about Dumeril boas, um, I'm not going to get into it too much because I will do another video just all about Dumeril boas because this is just his introduction video, but um, they are from Madagascar and you can see he's got these gorgeous patterns and that's so he can blend into the floor, the forest floor in Madagascar and he doesn't have a name. I've really been struggling with this one. So if you guys have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments because Lord knows I need them. I will tell you what I've kind of been stuck on, which has made it hard to name him. This is you look at, oh, hello. Um, a lot of people say that Dumeril boas don't like to climb. Mine begs to differ. His favorite spot is to sit on top of our heads. Just like this. He will sit up there for a very long time. Dude, you're gonna slip and fall. So yeah, he doesn't have a name. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Um, but if I can show you guys. You look at the sides, it kind of looks like a face, like a screaming face. So that's kind of what I've been stuck on. I haven't been able to unsee it now, but you know, if you have any suggestions at all for names, please comment below because I, I, I need help naming him. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know that when I do an introduction video, I typically will also show you their enclosure. <laughs> We're not gonna do that in this video. Um, I am in the process of doing lots of upgrades. So if you follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you guys know that I've got some new enclosures sitting in my garage being cleaned up. Um, so one of those is for him. So all I'll say is that that Florida breeder right there, that is his enclosure temporarily. His new enclosure is in my garage. So we're just, we're not gonna talk about it. He was supposed to be three foot when I got him and he ended up being four foot. So the need for a new enclosure was a little more urgent than I had anticipated, but we've got it. It's getting cleaned up and he'll hopefully be in it by the end of next week. So that is my new Dumeril's boa. Don't forget to leave name suggestions in the comments and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.